here we are for the final part of making our sculpture and we're going to have fun putting it all together today. So you've got to finish doing all your surface decorations first and that's going to be mostly in pen today. If you need to do some gluing with a bit more paper, use Pritt stick, not the PVA glue at this stage. OK, so just concentrate on your surface decoration and then you're ready to actually start building. OK, so we're ready to make our base. We start off with a piece of card and scissors and we cut a strip. We want two pieces around the same size. It doesn't have to be exact. You don't need to get your ruler out. If you want to, you can be fancy and you can shape those, but you don't need to do this bit at all. After you've got those two end pieces, you need to have the piece that's going to join them all together, which needs to be big and long like this and quite nice and wide, probably about the width of your hand, something like that, so it's got plenty of stability. We're then going to start cutting our slots in. Now, you remember um, when you made your slot sculpture last half term when we experimented with this, I made these for you. This time you're doing it yourself. And you need to cut a slot in the middle of each of the two feet, uh, which you're going to then cut two slots in the base, pretty well evenly spread out, and you're going to make sure that it's flush. So here I've cut too little and I need to cut a little bit more out of each one. But of course, it's better to cut too little than to cut too much. So keep wiggling it, cutting up. There you go. Can you see how that's flush now? That's there at the same height. And we need to do the same thing with this one where we're going to get the second foot on, which is going to be our support structure. But look still a tiny bit that's fine just take it out cut a bit more out don't overcut do a little by little there you go we've got a base and as soon as you've got your base slotted on i'd sign it write your name on it it's going to be your amazing piece of artwork and then we're ready to start building so to have a look at your letters i'm going to start with this shape here because it's a nice big chunky shape and you want something sturdy to go at the bottom and you want to decide where you're going to put your first cut for your first slot and remember you only want to take out the thinnest bit of cardboard if you take it out too thick it will just wiggle around all over the place so just a thin little bit of card and wedge it on now that's nice and secure there i'm just going to swap my scissors around because uh, those ones were much too big okay let's carry on there so i'm going to join this a onto this piece of the foot here of the base um because why not it seems to want to go there so i'm going to just cut a shape there and that's made it really good and solid now i can start building up and it's exactly the same thing cut out your little um, line there, cut out your little wedge so you can slot it on. And if you put it on and you don't like where you put it, you just move it. That's easy peasy, isn't it? It's all about finding happy accidents with this um, and just experimenting and exploring with it. And you just keep building up once you've got a couple on, get the next one on and the next one. And you want to start going upwards as well once you've got a few at the bottom. And I enjoyed using that E there. I actually curved it round there. I think that was quite nice the way that bent round. But you can see there that I've built it up quite nice and high. And it's time to have a look at the finished item. Uh, yeah, that's all nice and sturdy. It's not falling off. If you do cut too big a holes, don't worry about it. Just cut another hole in a different area and uh, use that one instead. You can use a little bit of glue if you need to, but I really don't think you need to with these slot sculptures. Just keep fiddling around with it. Let's have a look at the final sculpture from the side there because we want to be able to look all the way around. Of course, this is a sculpture, which means it's three dimensional. It has height, it has width and it has depth. So we've got our nice sculpture. We can look all the way around look at it in different directions, find the parts of it that we really like. And we can also look and think, oh, I could have done this differently. And you can change it if there's something you're unhappy with. Now, I made two. I made that one, but I also made this one for you to show you. This was where the um, word for welcome uh, in a particular language had lots of letters. So I just made it uh, much smaller shapes, same size piece of card, but just smaller shapes uh, and slotted those together for you. Hope you've enjoyed this project. And remember, most important lesson is to know your ABCs. As in always be creative. Oh, terrible Miss Martin joke. Have a good time. Bye.